Together, the monkey brushing painting method and the quick draw paint can holster can help America learn to love painting again. I'm Robert O'Quinn and I hope you approve this message. Hi everybody, I'm Robert O'Quinn with Stake Him Industries LLC. Everybody knows the benefits a fresh coat of paint has for a fence. Protects the wood from the elements. Easier to paint a fence than it is to fix one. Adds value to your home and makes it easier to sell. And it just plain looks better. The big problem is getting the paint from the can to the fence. Today, we're going to work on taking the pain out of painting. Sure, airless sprayers can move a lot of paint fast, but they have limitations. They're not for confined spaces and require extensive setup. They can be somewhat delicate and temperamental machines. They must have electricity and valuable resources for takedown and cleanup. And what about that overspray? Fences are rarely flat or straight, reducing roller application efficiency. Even small rollers simply cannot put the paint into the corners and crevices. Brushing has a time-honored tradition of being a pain in the asymmetric joints, such as hands, elbows, and other parts of your body principally because it takes so long. All that stooping, bending, and lifting are hard on a body. There's less overspray and cleanup. Detail painting is much better with brushing, and the finish is fine for a fence, but it takes so long. Brush painting is quiet, doesn't require electricity or extensive cleanup, but if you have a lot of fence to paint, it will take all day and the next and the next, and the next. It's a job that has to be done, and you have to do it. Kind of like a mule in a hailstorm. You have to do this until the task is complete. Paint has advanced dramatically in the last 25 years, but you're still holding the paint and the brush. What if we could speed up brush painting by using both hands at the same time? What a great place for a half a can of paint. The original quick draw gallon can holster reliably holds the paint can for you so you can finally use both hands to paint at the same time. True, two-handed brush painting, or what we call today monkey brushing, is now simple and fast. You'll notice how the quick draw gallon can holster moves with Pam, keeping the can in the right place so she can focus on putting paint on the fence. That's real nice with dry brushes on a glass door, but you want to see monkey brushing for real, don't you? Here monkey brushing puts real primer on a real fence. Notice how easily Pam handles the brushes because they remain close to her body. Prior to this shoot, Pam hadn't put a brush to paint in over 10 years. Notice how smoothly both hands put the paint on the fence. See how the brushes get the paint into the corners. The brushes reload with paint easily and quickly because the paint is in such a great place. Pam is cleaner after monkey brushing than most folks I know brushing single-handed. Jamie paints all the time and picked right up on the monkey brushing paint method. Tight spaces are no problem for Jamie as she places the brush and paint exactly where she wants it. Boys can do it too. You'll likely more than double your brush painting production because not only are you painting with both hands at the same time, You've also eliminated the starting and stopping usually spent moving the paint can. Monkey brushing is still a lot like work, just more productive and fun. Got spindles that are making you silly? Speed through spindles with monkey brushing. Is trim taking up too much of your time? Monkey brushing is tops for trim. The original quick draw gallon can holster provides increased ladder safety and confidence. Both hands just going up and down the ladder. If you want to monkey brush your next paint project, then you need to buy the Quick Draw Paint Can Holster today. You'll be glad you did. Hi everybody, I'm Robert O'Quinn with Stake Him Industries, LLC. Everybody knows the value a fresh coat of paint has for a fence. Protects the wood from the elephants. God. <laughs> Sex for the elephant. Mm. Don't bring politics into this.